Hello, welcome to the video for what is material the distance node. Let's go ahead, let's run through this quick little example. We have this little white cube here, but when I get closer to it, it's going to fade into black. So, how does that work? We're using the distance node. Distance node is super simple. There are two inputs, an A or a B. It takes in a value or a vector. It could be a one, two, three, or four component vector. And it's going to output the distance between all the channels using an Euclidean distance computation. The input and output must be the same. Like in my example, I'm using the position of the object, which is going to be a vector three, and the position of the camera, which is another vector three. If you put in a one here, for example, a float of a one and then a vector of a three, it's not going to work. They're not the same. So pretty simple. Gives me the distance between where my object is and where the camera is. Boom, outputs my distance. What I'm doing then is dividing it by 512. So I get a much smaller number because I want to use zero and one black or white. And then I output that into my base color. To give it a little bit more of a visual example, what I'm going to do is lerp between a red and a green based on the distance. And as you can see, we have a green. We get closer, slowly lerps into red, and then we get red when we get up to it. And that's it. That is what a distance node is for. Keep in mind, it's going to output a value. What you do with that value is up to you. Here's an example of lerping. I could change these into textures. I could, for example, have this a lower resolution texture that looks weird and then have it when you get up close to it, it changes. You could use it maybe like a, a hidden mirror type thing. I don't know. That would be kind of cool. Have it where it's a scary picture when you're up close to it and then have it where it's a normal picture when you're far away. You could use anything you want. And the distance, again, will take two things. This could be the distance between your camera and the distance between another object like it is now. Maybe it's the distance between two different objects and you want them to color coordinate themselves depending on how far away they are. So distance node, two inputs, one output. Make sure the inputs are the same types and you'll get the same thing as the output. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.